Now for question 5, we'll be doing this question and we'll be using uh, the concept of a uh, body attached frame, uh, body attached reference frame to do our calculation. Okay, so without further ado, now question 5 says that at the given instant over here, the cable supporting the pipe has the motion shown. So determine the angular velocity of this green color pipe and the angular acceleration of the pipe. And then the velocity and acceleration are point B located on the pipe. So we'll just do the easiest question first. So I'll find what's velocity of B. Velocity of B is actually the same as velocity of C because they are along the same line. And with that, I can simply find out the answer to be negative 1.5 in the J direction. Okay. Next, we can establish a relationship. So I'll put this point over here as point A. So point A, velocity A is same as velocity D because they are sharing the same line. And it's negative 1.8 in the J direction as well. We know that acceleration of B can be split into a tangential and normal acceleration, so we just keep that in mind first. Okay? Why do I say this is because this the acceleration that is experienced by C is actually the tangential acceleration of B because it's along the line. You get it? That's why tangential acceleration of B is said as acceleration of C. And that'd be 0 0.45 in the J direction. Now let's put a body attached frame, this uh, red color uh, frame over here, so I attach onto the pipe, so it will rotate and translate alongside with this pipe, okay? Over here we can, we realize that point B with respect to the, relative to the frame has no movement, so VB from F is actually zero, but don't worry, I'll, I'll do the uh, calculation later. And then the entry velocity VB prime is actually angular velocity of the pipe of B respect to A cross with the displacement B respect to A plus velocity of A itself. So VB prime is actually this. Okay. Now, so using what we have over here, we can put in uh, whatever that we have. Uh, so velocity of B is over here, negative 1.5, so I put it in. Omega B from A, we do not know. Omega B for A is actually omega B from, oops, there's a typo. It's actually the angular velocity of the pipe. Okay, oh, hold on. Yeah. And so this is the angular velocity of the pipe. Cross with the uh, position vector, negative 1.2, because B from A is negative 1.2. The radius is 0 0.6, so 2 times A is 1.2. Then the velocity of A is negative 1.8. Putting in this down, we can easily find that uh, omega b, sorry, omega b from a, or basically omega itself, or uh, the angular velocity of the pipe is actually negative 0 0.25 radian per second. Okay, so that's the answer. So you got your first answer. All right. Next, acceleration of b is equal to acceleration b from the reference frame plus the entrained acceleration. We know that there's no movement of the point B with respect to the frame. Because keep in mind, it rotates and translates alongside with... This frame rotates and translates alongside of the pipe. So B and this point, it doesn't have any movement. I mean, it's a solid pipe one. So this B is not like, you know, like crushing into the pipe or extending out. It's here. So relative to it, there's no like movement at all. So that's why... Uh, acceleration of B with respect to the uh, reference frame is actually zero, and you know acceleration of B prime is the remainder. So acceleration of B is actually acceleration of B prime, and you can express it as acceleration of B from A plus acceleration of A. Okay, so recall the acceleration general form. Now I'm taking acceleration of B from A. So B with respect to A. So imagine the 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 frame. Uh, so this body attached frame you realize that you will move in a circular motion because this B and A right is a constant length, you will not change at all. So when it moves right, it actually moves in a circular motion. Hence, if you know that it's a circular motion, you know that send the R double dot will go to zero and Coriolis acceleration will go to zero as well. So what you have right is just the centripetal acceleration and the tangential acceleration. All right, so you just put in the values that you have. You know what's RB from A, uh, you know what's omega? Theta dot is actually omega, which we have found over here. 
you do not know what's theta double dot because that's alpha alpha b from a and then rb from a you know so now you the only thing that you don't have is the alpha b from a you get it so you don't have alpha b for a so now this is what you can um this this is the first equation that you form so alpha b from a is actually some value of i no unknowns over here and negative 1.2 alpha b from a you know we know that alpha b can be split into tangential and normal acceleration and this is actually same as alpha b from a plus alpha a this is uh, this is the acceleration of b prime the entrained acceleration so by equating uh, this uh, by equating this and this over here see alpha b from a you just bring this down here and this is what we can get okay so once you reach here already right we put in all the values that we have tangential acceleration of b you have because it's this one negative 0 0.45 and then uh, normal acceleration of b you do not know so that's the unknown we know what uh, okay there's no unknown here uh, the only unknown is alpha b from a uh, okay then you do not know what's the normal acceleration of a then we just isolate along the uh, y axis because we know that i there's a lot of unknowns however in the in in the j hat direction right you realize there's only one unknown so you see we know this and we don't uh, we know this but we don't know alpha so very simply we can find out what's alpha okay so alpha would be 0 0.875 radian per second in the uh, k direction now we will move on by attaching the frame another frame onto the center of the pipe where the center is point g okay so recall that tangential acceleration is actually alpha cross with r right? correct so now i'm taking the acceleration of b with respect to the point g so there's acceleration cross with r uh, r b from g the acceleration over here is actually same as here because it's the angular acceleration of the entire pipe minus the centripetal acceleration of b respect to g so b respect to g so we put in whatever that we have we don't uh, we know what's alpha but i won't put in yet because uh, i think it will, it will make the equation too long so i put in whatever i have first and i'll realize that this is what i'll be equating it to so there will be no unknowns here there will be no unknowns the only unknown is the uh, uh, there will be no unknowns over here however when we form another equation then we will have the two unknowns to solve for so over here there is no unknowns we know that acceleration of b from g can be expressed as acceleration of b minus acceleration of g and then acceleration of b can be split into tangential and normal acceleration Okay. so once we split this up we know what is tangential acceleration which is negative 0 0.45 we don't know what is normal and we know that uh, acceleration of g is constrained within the j direction why do I say so? Because the center, as this pipe goes down, you realize that the center does not travel left or right. You only move in a vertical line. So we know that it will be constrained, uh, constrained within the j direction. Okay. So we put in all the values. Then we realize we do not know what's the normal acceleration. We do not know what's the acceleration of g. However. This is one vector equation. You can split this into scalar equation. So I'll isolate y and x, and that's exactly what I did. So I isolate the j direction. So negative 0 0.45, I bring it down. Uh, negative acceleration of g, I bring it down. And then uh, and over here, I bring down the j. So this negative, I just brought it out. And easily, I can find acceleration of g. But that's not part of the question. I just uh, finding out for you only. Okay. Then now. We isolate the x axis component, basically the i component. So the normal acceleration of b, I bring it down over here, and then i, now I bring it down. Then very simply, I can find the normal acceleration of b, and that would be 0.0375 in the i direction, positive i direction. <coughs> now we got tangential acceleration, we got normal acceleration. With these two, we can take the absolute value of this, uh. Of, of these two components and we find it out to be 0 0.45156 meter per second square 
and then because there's two directions uh, basically there's a uh, y and x components right we can find the angle between so we can express it in polar coordinate so we do we take the arc tangent we find the angle to be negative 85.236 degrees and that is the solution of b in polar coordinate and that's the answer so yeah so this question actually is quite tedious so but other than that if you do not know how to do this question you can rewatch the video if not try similar questions in the uh, textbook. Uh. Yeah, that's all.